Omicron variant keeps spreading and is hanging a cloud over New Year's Eve events. CBS 4's Courtney Keeley is one of the biggest and most iconic celebrations at Times Square, New York City. So, Courtney, what level of concern about COVID are you seeing there? Well, everybody is masked, and you had to have a vaccination to be able to gain entry into Times Square. They reduced the crowd to about 15,000. The crowd is sparse, but spirits are high. Revelers are gathering at the crossroads of the world, ready to bid 2021 goodbye. We're trying to begin our year as best as we can. But we're looking back, saying, look how we celebrated going into 2022. The NYPD spent the wee hours putting barriers in place to accommodate the limited crowd of 15,000. Spectators go through a multi-layered security screening process in order to see the six-ton crystal encrusted ball drop. But this year, officials are also checking vaccination status, and everyone must wear a mask. Most importantly, we want people to be safe and healthy. The U.S. is breaking records for new COVID cases, almost a half million reported on Thursday. Revelers here say they feel safe with the extra precautions in place. I think uh, New York is doing a good yeah. uh, job with scaling it down, but still keeping life as usual as much as we can. COVID worries are adding to the ever-present security concerns here. A lot of the police officers here are working overtime because at least 20% of the police force is out sick due to the coronavirus. Rooftops on the Vegas Strip are prepping for the fireworks show there. And Chicago is going forward with what it calls the largest fireworks display in Windy City history, spread out over a mile and a half stretch of downtown. The mayor is urging residents to make their own best choices. In many instances, that's going to be, you know what, I'm good. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to watch it all uh, from my TV. Back in Times Square, the mass countdown to midnight is on. Everyone's hoping for a good year and a little bit of a change from these past couple years. Looking for a brighter and better new year. And Jim, it is iconic to be here. Only two times in history has the ball, since it started dropping, has it not dropped twice, two years in a row, during World War II. Last year, we saw 200 frontline healthcare workers here. This year, we're going to see up to 15,000 people. And right behind me, we will still see that iconic ball drop, and we will be welcoming in 2022 soon. Jim? I get it. Trying to keep the traditions going. Courtney Keeley, thank you so much from New York City.